Mind Disease Podcast. Yo, 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 what's good? Bully and the Beast Podcast. Yeah, yeah we back. We are back. And, yes. um... <laughs> like we never left. Is the Vaseline pregnant yet or not? Nope, not yet. It's been a few weeks. Hey, man. It's my business. <laughs> how about that? Nah, what's you going on with you? broke up already. You Did know you? I don't last that long. What's going on with you, though, for real? Oh, just chilling out, man. Just, you know, got a lot of things going on with my farm. Things moving together. Coming together, man. Start trying to bring these black young men together instead of, you know, going to trying to start selling weed because you lost your job. <laughs> now you, I could offer you something. I could be like, yo, come get this pack of pack of chicken. You give me a hundred dollars, I'll give you $200 of chicken and you go ahead and flip your bread. I don't care if you got a, a grill or a chicken shack or a food truck. Come holler at your boy, man. You know How saying? you gonna say something positive but take a jab at my old weed dude at the same time? I, who said that? <laughs> you did. I did. I threw it in there, but you didn't have to say who it was. Because like, I just Damn. told you. I just said, I said, my old weed dude from two years ago is gonna text me talking about, I'm back in business. If I you said he might have lost his job. And I, don't, and I listen, that So happened. you started off taking a jab at the I man. I wasn't just taking a jab. I was just telling him that I was giving him, offering him a job. Instead of doing that and trying to get, get caught up. You can go ahead and, I'm saying, come out, do the, keep that same hustle, just change the product. Why the fuck he think that I don't got another weed guy by now? Yeah, he definitely. <laughs> got guy. But he probably will give you some samples and give you some because he knows. Yeah, that. niggas be really yeah, you with yeah, the they, samples. Listen. They want to sit there and bait you back into them. <laughs> Nigga, a, a, a bitch love a sample. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, shit, go. Free, oh free weed and free food. Wait, you said what? Free weed and free food? What did you say before that? What? Oh, I'm not getting no food from the weed man. What's wrong with you? If the weed man bringing food too, yo, you the best weed man. If you want to get- What's he going to eat it in my car, nigga? I don't- no, I'm You're just not saying, pulling up to bruh, my crib. Bruh, if you got weed and you got like wings, bruh, you'll get everybody in the hood. Well, I don't eat wings. I don't eat chicken. Well, he bring a salad. Bring her a salad and, and, and weed. I don't want no food from the weed guy. Why not? Because he's just a weed guy. But now, like I got a, I got a homeboy that sells weed. That's different. Like there's uh, a weed guy, and then there's a, there's my homeboy that sells weed. I right, but you, you know, know the difference. Yes, it had, a, it had a lady, right? We call her auntie, right? Every time she that sounds like weed. a fiend. Yeah, I mean, auntie, auntie <laughs> always had the weed, but auntie so you let a fiend bring you food? No, she always is in there cooking. Okay, so when we go in there buy the the, the food and we eat all the time, we she's the best spot to go to. I don't want to go nowhere else. But she was selling plates and shit. I'm that's talking about love. That's different. That's love. So no. listen, the weed man. If you want to get L'Oreal back, you got to bring her something else like she likes. She might she like might like the smoothies. So bring L'Oreal a smoothie and some weed. Uh-uh. I don't drink nothing. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> How you gonna win you back, though? Nah, he get the, with the samples, nigga. Yeah, Big the ones. Okay, the samples. Is Big right. samples. You gotta nice damn job. there give me, yeah. Eighth. No. But what yeah, give me an eighth, a quarter, nigga. Oh, I, shit. I'll put you in my roller deck. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be in the rotation. Yeah, like you got it, nigga. You gotta make up for all these years. Yeah, you do, bro. I, nah, I done upgraded to you find a better weed man anyways. But you they always think, fuck up though. Oh, we man always fuck up. They always always never. niggas be like ten minutes every four hours. You be like, my man, is you coming, on, bro? For real, bro. If <laughs> I gotta not. text you, be like, how far? I hate the text. Nah. How far? You be like, I'm not fucking with this nigga no more. As soon as he comes, it's like I'll, I'll be like a fucking girl, like you know the boyfriend cheats. You know, as soon as her boyfriend cheats, she call her girls because like, he answered his phone. I'm never talking to him again. As soon as he answered the phone, like, baby, I fell asleep at my boy house. I'll be right there. She come all the way down. You be like, all right, fuck it. You about to be here in 10 minutes? I'll be right there. She be like, the door unlocked. I'll be in the bed sleep. Yo, the weed Shut man up. get away that with. That pussy was marinating. <laughs> <laughs> the we got get away with everything. Every fucking thing all the time. <laughs> Them niggas be violating. And he smile every time he come in. Like as soon as he pull up, he smile. Yeah, like, he oh, not. My Let me tell my you what bad, happened. My bad, yo. <laughs> I'm just happy he got the weed. Like, nah, it? you be thinking you punishing them by not calling them for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you punishing your fucking self. They got mad <laughs> niggas ain't selling weed. Too. That's what I'm saying. That's how I feel about the girls. Like, yo, bro, yo, if weak. your girl cheat on you, bro, and you don't fucking, you think you punishing her by fucking not calling her, I'm she's crying. fucking that guy still. I don't know. To me, that was just like a nigga that came back from the past thinking I ain't fuck with no nigga in two years. Like, like he nigga. was waiting on him that whole time. <laughs> like he was crying in the bed all these years. 
Girl, you boy, you shut the fuck up. You been fucking. I ain't smoke a blunt since you left. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Fam. All right, we gonna get into some voicemails. Early. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. If y'all need some advice, if y'all want to talk to us, if y'all want to just leave a comment or whatever, um, the voicemail number is three four seven six seven nine six one one eight. Highlight That's the phone number too, not just the voicemail. But yeah. y'all could call and leave voicemails whenever, and Do we'll get to them when we can, or if mm-hmm. T Diddy allows it through. Mm-hmm. So let's get into it, T Diddy. Early. Hey, L'Oreal and Wax. Okay, I have a quick question. Hi. Just something simple. Um, my name is Janae. I'm from Texas, but I wanted to know how do y'all feel about. Well, Loria, how do you feel about dating someone that's younger than you? And when I say younger, I mean, let's say six years, six or seven oh, years. So I'm currently dating this guy. Um, I'm 30, just turned 30, like a few days ago. And he is 24. And one of, it's one of the relationships that I've had that's, I don't know if it's because he's younger or what, but, um, like, aside from his age, everything else has been, like, one of the best relationships I've been in. But I'm having a hard time with his age. And so I feel like I will be judged or, you know, somebody has something to say or whatever. But, um, like I said, aside from his age, everything else is going fine. He's sweet, smart, um, and to be honest, like, more mature than some of the other guys that, I've dated that were older than me. So uh, he's a cancer. I don't, I'm trying to answer all the questions that y'all mm-hmm. may have uh, while I'm on the phone, just in case. But yeah, you he's a cancer. What he was. Uh, we, we met a while ago before we actually like exchanged numbers or whatever. Uh, it's just that one thing, his age, that I'm like, Ugh, is that, is, you know, I don't know, I don't know. But if y'all could just help me. How do you feel about a 24-year-old dating a 30-year-old? Or, uh, Loria, would you do it? Or if so, why? Or if not, why not? Thank you. Y'all guys have a good day. So I dated a younger guy before one time, and I couldn't do it. How old? That's, I don't want to tell. (laughs) It's not. the powder dude. I knew it. Yo, you want to hear something? Whatever. I'm not even going to get into that. But um, it's not. But, like, he was old enough to get in the club. That's all that matters. But he's young, younger than me. And I just, my thing with him was he act like a young boy. Like, she's saying this one's mature. Like, this nigga, like, <laughs> success-wise, he's yeah. done a lot of things successfully yeah. to make him grown. You get yes. what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But maturity level, it was not there at all. Playing like, p- what? Even, like, you see the towel story that we had? Like, some shit, even like shit like that. The towel story. Remember when the girl said that the girl stepped on the towel? That's like he was the towel. He didn't do that. But like he would do shit like I would need a towel and he'll be like, here, you could just use mine. And I'm like, nigga, you don't have no other towels? <laughs> like, What's wrong with that? I don't know. Where the fuck is the rest of the towel? You just now had some butt naked sex and I can't, you can't use my towel? Your shit is probably wet. You took a shower too. Like, I want my own fucking towel. Why do you have one? But then that means you should have sex by yourself. I just feel like if I'm fucking with a nigga and he only owns one towel and I know he has enough money to own more than one towel, like, I'm not, and maybe he didn't. You need a wife. No, I don't want to use your towel. Then you should have bought him a bunch of towels. You need Why a do wife. you think people have more than one towel? Because so they don't have to share. Like I don't like I don't live in the projects right now. I only got That's, one towel. That's what I'm talking shit. Do you? Yes. I use the same towel all over again. So don't <laughs> act like that. I need a wife too. I need a wife. So like you give the bitch your towel when she's getting out the shower. I hope they don't you know what I kinda think I'm not even thinking when they go in that bathroom, they probably using my towel. Because the only one in there. They never ask for a towel. See, like he would just, it was just not just that. I that was, was drying. I didn't want to make that a thing. That's not a thing. But that was one of many things that I was like, I can't fuck with this. That one child fucking child. Kind of crazy. No, it's just like all kind of shit. It wasn't even, that's not even, he just was a child. Like him, like to me, like the sex was great. Everything was great. But because what, of the towel? No, it, it was so much more than, he was messy. Just like, like he was like a, he reminded me of like a frat college 
white kid, but he wasn't even white and he wasn't in college. Yeah. And he, but it's just, I don't know how to explain that. But he was just like, would do a free life. Like this motherfucker would just be like, it was too. If I, I don't want to talk too much about it because yeah. it's just too Falling much. Falling in love again, Lori. I can no, I'm not. It was I'm awful. When I tell you it was awful, like the like j- even the people he had around yes. me. I'm like, what am I babysitting? Like I felt if I was ever around him and his friends, I was like, ugh. I feel like I'm babysitting. Yeah, that's it. Was just Did awful. He ever talk, talk about y'all sex while he was while he, around his friends? That mean if he didn't, he, that mean he's not childish. I think this guy is very mature. Uh, cause of that one thing. One thing, the talent shit. You ain't catching me on that. I'm trying like, to like he acts like a white boy. I don't know how to explain to you. Like, say my fuckers was all drinking or some shit. Like he would like drink out a cup that like what's this and just drink it. Like you don't or whose it was. My nigga, like it was. Ugh. Like one time he was like drinking something. He was like, here, have some. And then I went to drink and I looked and I'm like, what the fuck is this shit floating in the cup? He was like, oh, that's just pizza. I just finished eating pizza. Who's this guy, bro? Yeah. <laughs> he's disgusting. <laughs> but he's like. Was you kissing him? <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Gloria, I think my I relationship is dating. better than yours. You never told me a good relationship that you had. No, I have, I've had good relationships. All the relationships, they either looked in the mirror more than you, or they was just like, wear thongs. He was, sandals. this one is, just, yeah, he probably wore thongs. He was like a white boy, but not white. It was just weird. Living a free life. Yeah, but I don't want to talk about me. Back to her. All right. Um, I think if he's showing you, why are you thinking about the age if he's showing you everything else is great? It's like, you can't just. What you don't think so? Because he's. Uh, I think people are different. Some people are more mature. That's not gonna be his last pussy that he get. He's twenty four years old. Let that man go. You said that your dad got married at seventeen. With my mom, they got married, and that was back in the day with no TV, no Instagram, (laughs) no TV. They talk about that was my dad came from Hugey, South Carolina. Him coming to New Jersey like was already Instagram. You know what I'm saying? She. He's not showing her any signs of not. Taking him serious. Now, if she was like, he be cheating on me, doing this and that, eating fucking bullshit. I don't know. She didn't say nothing bad about him but except guy, his age. This, but he, he, his maturity came too early. I think he going to have his, his, his other stage in his life where he got to, he got to be a little bit more. So free. he didn't have his whole phase. You that, don't know what that man went through in his life. I know, but I think he just got to let him live a little bit more. I don't think see who I was at 24 is not who I am right now at 35. And that's you fine, but you're also like not an average person. You're kind of slow. So it's like Maybe. this this you guy, I mean? some people live different lives than us. And I just feel like they're in a town, in a situation where it's, meant for them to settle down have kids i know people that then had that got three kids a house a dog garage you get what i'm saying and they chill and go on a regular job and stay together them. but then i also know a lot of people in the industry that's not ready for none of that so <laughs> yeah, no but i feel like it's where they Help live me, like charlotte north carolina even though that's still I like that no i think it's still lit there too but it's like you can move in the side and just chill that's what i want who want to do that with me no one because you're disgusting Thing. But I like, wash my hands. I think huh. I think maybe you're right. He might not be ready at, or a typical person wouldn't be ready at that age. But he may be. Let him go. What did he do wrong? He don't know. He's, he's not. That's not going to be your last pussy. So when he finally decides to get some pussy, which he does deserve, he deserves some other pussy. He's 24 years old. You don't think he ever had other pussy? Yeah, but let the man see about other pussy. Don't lock him down just yet, Miss Lady. Let this man go ahead and get his get, get a couple of pussy. Now, if she uh, allow him to know that he's that age and be like, listen, if you ever want to step out, you I give you the free will, but I still love our relationship and I still want to grow with you, that's all good. But just don't try to not let him get pussy again and then your relationship will work. Give, just let him be free. He probably not going to do it because he really love you. And keep turning that young nigga out. But just let him know, like, yo, I know you're young. I'm going to let you go ahead and fuck as many girls as you want to because I want you to get that out your system. I don't think you should say not that. Do it. Then that's when he man not going to do it. When you give a man a free will to do it, he's going to be like, damn, if I don't fuck nobody bad because she gave me good will, it's like. And then he go fuck somebody and gets them pregnant. And dumb then- shit. 
Sure. But that's what I'm saying. I don't. I mean, if he's gonna do that, he's gonna do that regardless. But I don't think you should encourage him to go fuck other if people. Any girl, if you sit there and tell your man that he could fuck some girls, and you want to see the girl, and he'll never bring her unless she bad as hell. And if your man ain't getting badass bitches like that, you ain't got to worry about his ass. You would tell a dude, go ahead and fuck whoever you want. I bet you, if girls use that strategy, I'm sorry. Into the mic. <laughs> uh, what you say? I'm just curious, cause am I so, crazy? Look, I went. I was talking to a guy that was young, younger than me, but I was also we're with the age too because he didn't have his shit together like that, and I need a nigga that has shit together. He was good, who was mad mature, good chemistry, but he was like, how old was he? Twenty five, I guess. But you saying know? his shit wasn't together? Yeah, he she didn't have. Said- his- she said oh, her shit did? was together. Oh, then I don't know what the problem is, man. If she's good, she's good. It's just the age. Yeah. And she and you know what the first thing I heard her say, matter of fact, that bothered me? She was like, when other people find out how old he yeah, is. she worrying about that. Who so. the fuck cares about other people being Everybody, though. miserable? Other people be lonely. They are, they are but they're, they're Other people would fuck do. that young boy. Definitely will. <laughs> or trying to. Or would trying to. Yes. What? Okay. Like so, he's gonna. I don't know. I just he don't know himself. Yeah. Yet. Like, what like, if people? What if he was just like been through a lot? You don't know. I feel like the girl I, I was in love with when I was twenty four. I don't even know who the hell she is right now. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, twenty four. I don't know who the fuck I was fucking. That's crazy because the guy that I dealt with at twenty six stayed in my life for a lot of years. And like it's been times that uh, I still keep in touch with him. <clears throat> Excuse me, we still speak. But yeah. in my mind, I'm like, maybe I would take him back one day. Yeah, yeah. And that's that. Whoever you are, yo, come get her, please. I mean, he tries. Shut up. <laughs> he I, he tries, but I kind of yeah. feel like, all right, whatever. Right now, but I think, and I met him at 26, and I would have been, I would have still been with him if he didn't fuck up. But he fucked up way too many times. So I don't think that's true. I think you can be mature at 26. I think you can know what you want at 26. But I feel like it's girls certain is. people. It's not about girls. It's just about your experiences. I went through a lot of shit. But I've also been in the industry since I was like 16, 17 years old. So for me, I did a lot of shit for those 10 years. I've seen a lot of shit in them 10 years. Mm-hmm. I've seen a lot of shit happen to people. All kind of shit. You get what I'm saying? So I felt like shit, even my own in my own house. Like my sisters had babies. Baby's young, not like 14, but like, you know, 17, 18, that's young. Yeah. So I seen and I helped them. So I seen all kind of shit and I knew what I didn't want. And I, I don't know. That was just me. But everybody ain't the same. You get what I'm saying? So he could be immature and maybe still do need to fuck everybody. Or he might have fucked so mad. So give him a free will. Ladies, all of y'all, y'all give y'all man a free will to go fuck girls and say own, the, the whole thing is I have to see the girl. Your nigga ain't gonna be smashing shit. What do you mean I have to see the girl? Just be like, yo, if you wanna go, so just tell your man, listen, I'm gonna let you fuck other girls, but I just have to see who they are. Oh, yeah, a nigga bad. will still lie. Nah, he ain't My homegirl is going through this today. She just is said this to bad? me. Is a girl bad? She's, which girl? The other girl he fucking. The, it's, it's, Both of them are pretty. All right, then listen, that, that means you'll see your man be like, all right, she bad as hell. Like, you go ahead and do your thing. But, if but he be lying to but her. But that's gonna eliminate all them d- dust buckets that we be fucking. Because now, now I got to show my baby a thorough ass girl every single time. So I got to put my A-game on. And there's not too many A-game girls out there. Okay, so baby. Gonna be fucking on, he's not okay, going to be fucking Okay, baby. On. Cheat on me as long as she look like a snack. She got to be bad as hell. And your man ain't going to be pulling all these badass chicks. So you're going to be free. All them dust buckets we be out there fucking. Yeah, the girls we be fucking on y'all. That nigga them was still. Them girls is trash, and yo. She, he was right, still bro? fuck behind your back. Them girls is trash we be fucking. A nigga will, exactly. You been lying about fucking them hoes too. But we'll never show you these girls. If you allow me to fuck a bad girl. Then you just lie in the, we're like. We not going to lie. Just, nigga, cheating is cheating. Get, a, get this shit out of here. <laughs> By shit, I mean you. What it do, Wax? What it do, yeah. Hey. Okay. Yeah, I got a question for you, Wax, got now. That sound like the All same right, nigga so that died. Child. Me and my girl, we've been dating for about four, five months now. We love each other, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, so okay. a couple weeks, like, last month, I'm a cancer baby, so I'm a birthday. You're crying. Everyone's a cancer. Last month, 
for my birthday, we chilled together. We went out to eat, all that, blah, blah, blah. And then after that, we were chilling with her friends. Some of her friends called these niggas or whatever. So we everybody drinking, everybody having a good time chilling. Well, shit, let me take it back, goddamn. I cheated on her. Of course. The day before my birthday. Put the bitch up with this. So. It was your birthday. All right, we got down. Go back to my birthday. We chilling with everybody, blah, blah, blah. We, Me and her getting to it. I done cuss it out, call her a bitch, say no. it over, all that, blah, blah, blah. So I got down. I drove off. I left. About a week later, me and I'm venting her best friend. Her best friend talking about, damn, you a good nigga. I feel sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Uh... like, after you left. She fucked one of the niggas. No. So right now I'm thinking like, me and her, oh we done goodness. got into an argument. We got back together or whatever. So it's a month later. It's like, it's almost August right now. Uh-huh. So I got down. We back together. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking like, damn, this bitch cheated on me. Man. I don't <laughs> take that work. Met the family, don't want to church with all that. Y'all cheated and all that. Oh. We'll, we'll, you we'll, know what I'm saying? But y'all was broken up. Got down. No. It means something else, but I don't even know. Yeah, man. Like, she done got down. It's we done got back together, you. all that. We that's what we already just said we over it, everything. But shit, I don't even know how to take it. I know. But look, she was drunk when she fucked the nigga. I was so, <sighs> but I just needed nuts. So I'm just thinking like, damn, I should forgive her and all that. But I just don't know. But I be still going through her phone and all that. She let me go through her phone. This nigga still hitting her up. God damn, you know the snap. That shit. pussy good. She'll say she ain't messes nobody. She put that good pussy on that dude. That was it? Yeah. It cut off like that? Well, well, at least she got good pussy. For you know that she fucked one of the dudes at a party, and he's still hitting up, and you want to stay with her? That pussy is so, so good. Right, L'Oreal? What? That pussy is so good. You're funny. <laughs> um, I think that let it go, like, like, and stop going through her phone. Yeah, man. Because you being whack now. Yeah, yeah you being yourself, corny. Man. Like, it, it was when y'all was broken up. You did some bullshit. She fucked somebody else. You fucked somebody else. Y'all even. No, you can't be even with girls. Girls, when girls do it, it's like 10 million times more. Should never stuck your dick in another bitch. That don't mean nothing. And he did it soberly. We don't like that motherfucker we fucked. I don't think you let somebody. In, she don't like that in. nigga either. No, you can't put no let no penis going on. You're like that man. What the hell is wrong she with you? She did that out of anger and emotion. Oh, no, that's the wrong thing to do. Like I told you before. You God. think she's still fucking with that nigga? I'm sure she's not. But at the end of the day, you don't sit there and and, and, and dirt yourself. You don't put that on you, man. Well, neither do y'all, and y'all do it while you're in a faithful, committed relationship. So fuck you. At least she was single at the time, and leave that girl alone. Stop going through her fucking phone because okay. you're acting like a little bitch. All right, L'Oreal, you got to kind of got a fucking point right there. I hate that you got a point right now, but when girls do it, this shit hurt us ten times more. We can't take it. This man about to fucking jump off a cliff. I hear it. <laughs> this nigga about to go crazy. I know. He got to chill. And you like, gotta be, you got to stop thinking about it. Every time he fuck her, he wondering is that other dude fucked her better? It's probably because he got a small dick and he's intimidated. Or or he like yo, she had drunk sex. That shit probably was good as hell. She probably. Like the other guy keep calling, so she must be showing this guy some type of type of something for this guy to continue to keep calling. Hell no, my nigga! Like, I, listen, that'll make a nigga call more if you fucking fuck him and be like, "All right, and ghost him." Oh, you got me too. You got me. All Don't right. fuck me and ghost me. Who the fuck you think this is? All right, and then it's funnier when like, not funnier, but it's like if you was dealing with the motherfucker and he really thought it was gonna be something, and then you just ghost to that. Ooh, what happened to me? It happened to me all the time, actually. That was when she tried to take a shower and seen she only had one towel to choose from, and it was yours. That's probably what. It's <laughs> she probably stepped what on it your is. towel on the way out. They, they probably doing a bunch of. They probably be going like this, and I be using it for my face. <laughs> Y'all nasty motherfuckers. You got the pussy I, on I your face. I don't know why all this time I'm thinking they was air drying. <laughs> Nigga, in the winter and shit too. That's disgusting. That's a lot of pussies. Why would you air dry? I don't know. You I big as hell. I can't dry. imagine if you tried to air dry. I just go like this. You shake like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> we doing a Harlem shake, baby. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, um, we got everybody else. Did we even answer a question? Wait, did we? No. 
Oh, what was it? Wear condoms. I forgot what it was. Me too. That <laughs> helps everything. <laughs> I thought we answered it. Yeah, he's acting like I gave him advice, but he wanted to hear from you. He did? Bruh, she cheating on you. No, she's not. <laughs> she did. She fucked the guy at the party. They bro. were not together. You know, that's the only thing I can do, respect that girl. Yeah, Listen. he stormed out and did some hoax. Oh, so that's all, so I, when I storm out, you get the fuck No, he you? did some bullshit and fucked everything up. They broke up. It was my birthday. Whose birthday was it again? It was his birthday. Well, he stormed out and nigga, you missed your birthday you sex. Do. And I gave it to somebody you else. You know she was horny. Like any girl know around the birthday time, she, that pussy is marinating and she can't wait. Because she went and got sex. a wax that yeah, day. Yeah, she, yeah, listen, she not, that wax hurt. She is not going to waste right. that fucking wax. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking Yo, somebody tonight. fucking retarded. And then she was getting drunk. Oh, I'm going to blame it on the fucking liquor. Nah, Loki, I've felt like that before. Like, I've gotten my shit. Like, and I'm like, all right, you know, tonight is going down. And yeah. I got into it with my nigga. And I'm like, man, fuck this nigga. He made me waste this fucking good ass wax. Like, it's yeah. different when it's fresh. I feel like sorry a nice for fresh. the guy who had to, like. Oh, uh, shut up. Um, the guy, you don't let a guy wax you. It's ladies? Yeah. So that means I could get waxed. <laughs> you are waxed. Doo -doo -doo. Shh. <laughs> 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 Nigga, you play the drums and you got that slow ass reaction. Shh. Okay. Um, no, so wait, you, you would get your pubes waxed? Just I I shave it sometime when I know I got like a new girl and I want to impress her. My meat look big as hell. It's you look man like this big. You be manscaping. So wait, do you guys use a special razor when y'all manscape, or you just leave it in like uh, a regular razor, Maddie? No, I, I use the same clippers. That's gross. I use the clippers. Oh, you use clippers for your face on your balls? Look at this shit. I ain't been doing. Oh yeah, doing look at that shit. shit. What is that, by the <laughs> way? <laughs> That's somebody trying to hold on because he finally getting something. Wait, so I, I think like, you got something on your. Probably is that hair? Yeah, it's like like it's like popcorn shrimp. What? Ew, that looks interesting. Even your mustache doesn't connect. What's going on? I ain't eating no pussy. I'm eating pussy wrong. When you eat pussy wrong, you can tell when somebody eat pussy wrong because they're they they nothing connects. So you have a ball spot in the middle of your head and in your mustache. Yes, that's a lot. And your beard listen, is just patchy. But listen, what I do. This you kind of got the Beanie Seagull going on like down that. here. That was one of my favorite rappers at one time. I could tell. You like resembling But listen, mustache. when I do this, right, now I start eating pussy like this. Like I put, put my face <laughs> in it like this. And now eating I'm, pussy makes your fucking facial hair grow? It's all different type of strands. Like this is like a, a, a Spanish girl over here. This is a black girl over here. And it's like a Polish right here. Like it's different strands. Look at this. There's different ones. One's curly. One's just like that shit looks one. looks bad. You got to take care of that. <laughs> it's like a bad lawn. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it's like if I tried to do it because I don't know how to mow no fucking you, lawn. You know, you know when you like go past a neighborhood, you tell like somebody's found they 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 selling the house. Yeah, and nobody's been there. To and cut some the of the thing is yellow. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's me. You got patches of hair missing. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. It's like when you finally get something, like, you don't know how to shave it right. So I just like. But, like, why thing. would you have so much hair on your head, but you can't connect it on your face? I ain't eat, I stopped eating pussy at a time. Men supposed to continue to eat pussy after when you first start eating pussy. That's supposed to like fertilizer for your face. For years, I have not been getting the fertilizer for my face. You should get the hair reconstructive surgery on your. No, nah, no. Nah, just start eating more pussy. That's it. Ugh. I can't imagine anything that you're talking about right now. Let's go. What's no. up, y'all? This is the ID. You lucky. Shh. What's up, Taylor? Yep. I have a question for you. So <laughs> That's why she chose week. this caller. Admittedly, I'm stringing her it. along. That's it. We're in our late 30s. What? And she said that since I'm stringing her along, I should be able to pay for her eggs to be frozen. Which is actually a good point. What? I do have the bread, and I'm really considering it. What are y'all thinking about this? If a guy is knowingly stringing a girl on, should he pay for her eggs to be frozen? All right, bye. Whoa, this is a hell of a motherfucking question. Nah. I would have never thunk of something like this. But if he is doing it, you have to do it. But if you give her a way out like, yo, if you want to go ahead and try to get pregnant by somebody else or get another relationship because I ain't ready, you go do your thing because I ain't paying for it. But if you like, listen, I want you to be here and I'm, as soon as I get done and I get ready, I get you pregnant. And she like, I got to freeze my eggs. 
you you got to cough up that bread. So that's basically like him paying to be able to cheat or play games. Um, until he's ready though. Some people need to be like lined up. You know what I'm saying in their life, and then they'd be like, okay, I guess it's the right time to have a baby, which is never a right time. That's a, like a guarantee that we're gonna have a baby together. Yeah, like oh, I got to finally got the raise and the bonus that you're gonna end up taking anyway. She's gonna be like, I'm 65. <laughs> 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 I'm shooting blanks. Yeah, but. You try to have a baby now. It's not, it's not happening. I think that shit. That's really a good question. The fact that she's asking you to do that means that she's okay with you doing whatever the fuck you're doing. Oh, well, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it's not she wanting to cheat and show your royal oats. So hopefully why don't she like just have a baby? Job. She he might as well baby. just. He got the gun. He got to shoot. Oh, he's saying he's not ready for the baby yeah. right now. Yeah. So is he, that's what I said. If he's the one stringing along. Then he got to pay for it. But if he over here like, yo, listen, you want a baby? You want to holler at somebody? I got this going on. Damn, she's going to, she's, she really love him, huh? She really love him. She love him. So you want to have a baby by him. Him and him only. But listen, I have a baby by a lot of girls No, right but now. that's really like, if you don't give me the baby by the time I need it, I can snatch my eggs and go have it with somebody else. That's respect. So that's you right. wouldn't be mad if you paid for some eggs to be frozen and another nigga cracked them. All you got to do is squirt on them. I ain't mad at that shit. Like, I have a bunch of eggs. If I got, a, like, a bunch of eggs right there, and they say, Wax, you, if you nut on all these eggs, you have a bunch of kids, I don't give a fuck who them shits is. I'm having a bunch of kids with Chinese wax, Spanish wax, Polish wax. I don't give a fuck. Chinese wax. <laughs> I'll be squirting all over eggs all day. Yeah. That'd be a fucking job of mine. Squirt on the eggs. Um, next. Did we answer that? I feel like we don't be answering none of these shit. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what we be doing. Why are y'all listening to us? What's going on? <laughs> All right, no, but for real, yes. I think um, should he pay for the eggs? Yeah, yes. I just said that's like him being able to pay to ch to cheat and fuck around. What's the difference? You yeah. paying to cheat and fuck around? That's it. She must know. She must know a lot. She must know it got something to do, like a job for her to even consider to do that. And he said he can afford it. So what the fuck are we questioning? Yeah. He obviously wants to do it. He's considering it because he wanted to stick around. He he, he he loves her too. Yeah, he want he want to be the one to squirt. But he just wants to fuck mad bitches. He got to go through something tragic he must to know it's only her. Job. He must got an office job. It's boring, long hours. You got to fuck the secretary. Most, most, most of them do anyway. So if your man got a second... Uh, That's secretary. what he sounds like, right? Like he got a tie on right He got now. a tie. He's a man with a tie, for sure. Okay, so pay for the shit. Keep her around. Keep her around. When she gets tired of waiting, she's going to go anyway. Or, and, and you need her if you're fucking... You get the fucking uh, secretary pregnant. You have to get her pregnant right away. You can't force her to fucking inseminate herself. He better get her pregnant. I mean, well, she's freezing the eggs, so they would have to, like, anyway. So, hold on. So, you take the eggs out so she can handle eggs? So like, you know, when you get older, it's harder to produce eggs that are fertile mm -hmm. enough, you know, for the woman to have the baby with the sperm and all that stuff. Okay. So, you freeze them when you're a certain age, you know what I mean? So that they're healthy and young and mm -hmm. fresh, like they're going to work. So one of them damn eggs is going to work. You get what I'm okay. saying? Opposed to when you're older and they're not as strong or whatever the case. You get what I'm saying? I get it. So you would have to insert them back in you. They don't just outside make a baby. What do you think holds the... I'm confused at what you think happens when they freeze Put in an incubator. That's why I said I squirt on them shit. There is not fucking chickens. Oh, well. Put mine in an incubator. I'm down. No, because you don't. Put it like this. The incubator would be inside of the woman. You know that. Ah, the woman put you on child support. Put that shit in the fucking incubator. You know what I mean? Dudes would not mind having babies with incubator babies because the incubator <laughs> not going to put in the fucking in You and, can't yo, be fucking All serious. these dudes who have mad babies, they had to worry about the fucking mama putting them on child support. Child support fuck everything up. We are not reproducing because of fucking child support. I don't think that's why. It's responsibility. Yeah, we have, we have responsibility. We can take care of our kids. But if we know we're going to sit there and put that, we can nut on an a egg and put that shit in the fucking thing, man, we take care of that shit all day. Yeah, right. That shit.
That alone <laughs> should tell you. <laughs> that alone should tell you that this is a terrible idea. Let's try it. I'll be first one. That's like a clone. They're going to start doing that shit. I, th- I think I just now invented something. <laughs> Bullying the piece, cooking uh, cook clone baby. edition. The baby cooker? Baby cooker. Nah, In- baby incubator. Okay. Yeah, I use my sperm first. I'm saying it's out of me. What the fuck? It's usually going to the toilet. I thought it went in the Vaseline. Make up your mind. Now it do. My new baby. <laughs> When you try that shit, I know you're going to try it. Nah. You're going to try it. I want him to try Send it. Send T. Diddy the video. All the guys who try it, <laughs> fuck the Vaseline jar, and I guarantee you, y'all go send them shits to T. Diddy. I don't send them shit to me. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell is happening here? They don't mind. As long as they see you smashing the Vaseline, it don't matter. I feel like I'm in the projects. What, what we got? Another one? You really did that shit? You did it recently or when you were younger? I did it when I was younger, but, but I'm, you, I'm thinking but about it doing it now. But it felt good? Yes, I'm thinking about doing that shit. What again. made you do it, though? Uh, it was just there. I think it was my mom's in one of them, too. It's Ew, did up. you put it back, b No, I didn't put it back. Where'd you, no, they I hope nobody found They would have tore your ass up. <laughs> Is this recorded? They, yeah. <laughs> Like, what? Where's my fucking Vaseline? Where is my shit? Y'all touching that damn shit in my room? What do you use Vaseline for now anyway? Your fucking lips. That's it. <laughs> oh, T. Diddy done put your fucking jizz on her legs. <laughs> Them shit sticky as hell. She's like, why are my legs sticking together? I gotta get some lotion. Stop <laughs> using this Vaseline. The fucking sheet to stick it to her legs. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking gross. You're nasty. All right. Anyway, that's it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, so it was this... Um, what do you call it? Study. It was a okay. study on Match.com about the average price of a date in the United States, right? So here's the chart. Of course, New York is fucking, is it the highest? 217 a night. Can you fucking read? New York is 297, right? Oh, yeah. New York is right 297. There. Can we get much higher? No. That's more than that. That's the highest one. But that's way that's for one person. That's for yourself. It says a date. <laughs> a date is two people. So you think two thirty two ninety seven, three hundred dollars? Well for you. For you a date could just be yourself, I guess, if you're saying that's for one. Yeah, yeah. Go. Um I, I guess me and you go to Chick fil A and bring them by the water and top golf. That's about two hundred and ninety seven dollars, right? No, there. it shouldn't be. It should be like Chick Fil A is what twelve dollars each. So that's twenty four dollars. Who I wouldn't eat Chick Fil A. You ain't eating a twelve dollar meal with me at Chick Fil A. I don't eat chicken. Oh fuck! Oh, so yours should be cheaper. Is you eating grass? I'm not eating French fries, and that's like what do you? I eat? need food. Like what? Like if I'm going on a date, I got to be fed. Like what? Like I don't know something good. Well, like where would you take someone on a date? Chick Fil A. Okay, no. And you got to be a Chick Fil A girl. No. That's like some shit when y'all been living together and y'all like, yo, what you want to yeah, eat? Yeah, word up. But that's who I want anyway. Like when I you can't first just start you, there. No, no, no. Come no. on, when I first meet you, you're supposed to be homie right now, man. What the fuck? We could be homie some days, but you got to fucking court. Do something. I court you. To, like, as long as we're on the same page, we court each other. Why Why I got to court you? It's just corny because I know a nigga feed. Like me, I feed myself well. So I'm not about to fuck with a nigga that's trying to feed me bullshit. But that's not bullshit. I'm you gotta get, get on my like. level, or I can't fuck with you. I'm sorry. All right, so what's I gotta your level? Eat. We gotta eat. Yeah, what's but eating? I'm not eating bullshit. Now I'm saying like sometimes, yes, we could go to Chipotle or some shit like that. But it not. Uh, I eat out damn near every day. I eat Roof Chris at least once a week, like shit like that. So if we not going to places like that too. Like don't think you just about to feed me fries and chicken wings unless you my boyfriend, boyfriend. Like so you why know, he get the way with it. Because at this point, we're comfortable, and then you start, you know, it's not that serious. Like, when I first used to come do the podcast, like, I made sure that my makeup was always done. Now I come in here, I'll be like, all right, what up? Where, where y'all at? Where we at? We early. Let me throw these. 
You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'm show my I'll, boss by shit. Nah, so because it's real. You know what I'm saying? Some days yeah. I will come in here with makeup, but some days I'm just me, like man. That. I just like fuck it. You don't give a fuck. Look at you fuck. every day. Like, so, but that's what I'm saying. That's how you know what. I, but in the beginning, like not even just in the beginning, I like people that like the same thing as me. So if you like to eat good, I like to eat good. You like to eat good. I think we're we're gonna get along good. And somebody's gonna end up being fat. Yo, bro, did you turn these lights on harder? You still gotta work out and shit and do stuff. Jesus Christ. Nigga, you're mad big. Like, what are you talking about? I get it. What are you talking about? But I'm saying you just said then you get big or fat. Oh, I thought you were talking about the lights. I was about to no, say. nigga, we talking about a whole thing. On yeah, a... I, I like to eat. That's what I'm saying. So wouldn't you want to? What if it was a girl to be like, no, I don't, I don't think we should eat right now. I'd rather fucking I'm like, listen, I got yoga. my cheese. You crazy as No, hell. no, it's my well, you better give me some. You better Let's give go me some hiking. Other... Well, you better make me a meal plan. <laughs> a meal prep. You, the meal prep me yeah. out and I don't care if it's a bunch of leaves and stuff I eat all them leaves it better fool me up yeah nah we could chill sometimes but I got I like to go out to eat too that's like a favorite thing that's, I mean listen if we go bowling or skating or something like that and we eat in there cool but I ain't got time to sit across from people I hate that sitting see across. I'm not like that I like to try new restaurants like uh, to me that's exciting I like new drinks I'd like, be, be in front be, we'd be like this across, across each other in the restaurant I'd be over here like I would this. never be across from you that, that, exactly like we've had breakfast before at I, I, I um, the station like we'll go to eat I guess and um, the whole time I'm just making fun of him yeah I mean and then you're trying to flirt with every woman that walks in not or around true, baby you be flirting with the wait- waitress the I'll hostess I be saying hi I got, I'm, I got I know how to court people is that how you say it but then out of nowhere Wax just busted out and started playing the piano like fucking Mozart or some weird shit I can do it but um I th- that was the only entertainment I got from that whole time was when you played the fucking piano. Thank you. I appreciate that. This is probably the nicest thing you ever fucking said to me, L'Oreal. Yeah, but the breakfast was terrible. <laughs> I cook it. No, bro, I'm talking about <laughs> sitting next to you at breakfast oh, was terrible. It's horrible for me too, L'Oreal. Okay. Shit. All right, so d- where are you moving to based on this chart? Where- wherever it went. <laughs> uh, I will go to... Mm, where's South Carolina at? I don't even know where the fuck South Carolina is. It's 84, okay, 92. 84. How did they get the exact sense? <laughs> I don't They probably that. went out and got one the woman probably got a vegan meal and a dude went and probably got some shrimp and grits. It's match.com. So what they did was probably say, how much did you spend? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Like You're it. really a beast. This nigga's drinking the water the shit is down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh got that, right? It went all down his face. He didn't even wipe it. I think he just so. kept drinking. You're a fucking savage, fuck beast. How Who does in, that? In South Dakota. What the fuck? Yeah, why is New Jersey so high? Oh my lord. New Jersey is just as high as it New is. York almost. It is. I mean, it is expensive to eat good in Jersey. But you know what's crazy? I never knew that New Jersey was that much smaller than New York, and New York was shaped like that. Where the fuck can you go in South Dakota on a date for thirty eight dollars? We need to go there. If, like they probably only got an Applebee's in town. Where 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 South Dakota? It's uh, up there. South Dakota. I don't understand. You did you go to Boom. school? I don't know the shit. You don't know the states. That's a world map. You I didn't even know what Jersey world looked world like. Map. You said no. I didn't know how New York looked. That's not how New York always looked. I thought you said Jersey. I'm about to say, I've seen you with hats nah, on with Jersey, that shit. Nah, Jersey's early. Jersey you know looked like a cop with a big belly. Okay. <laughs> an old ass motherfucker Yeah, like with the hat. Yeah, word. You see it, right? I always seen that worm you looking see- motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It looked like a cop yeah, with a cap. Like this, yeah, yeah like- <laughs> with his belly. <laughs> Bam, yeah, that's exactly saying always, this way. He always got me fucked up. That nigga yeah. right there fucked me up for a long time. That's but a police ass state. See, word up. I got locked up mad times there, but this, I never knew it looked like that. Maryland is $200, 209 I think that's fair. It's mad happy hours and nice places in Maryland and D.C. and shit that like, but I, I think New York should be a little higher. Can, can I, can, yes, definitely. But can I say this? Like, and y'all always trying to make your man go out on a date. What the fuck is wrong with y'all ladies? Y'all always, at least twice a week, you need to take me out. Bitch, that's more than fucking our mortgage. Georgia is $121. 
<clears throat> Florida so, is 128. So only some states we can go out. So South Dakota, we go out twice a month. I mean, twice a week. You know what I'm saying? But if you live in New York or New Jersey. I'm not going to lie. And- $300. Each time you go out to eat, I've definitely might have lost the guy or two that I talked to because I was too expensive. Twenty four hundred dollars a month, maybe that's more than rent. one or two. That's, that's a nice crib. Twenty four hundred dollars a month, twice a week. Come on. I knew it was bad with one guy when he brung up to me. He was like, "Yeah, because the salad you ordered was like sixty dollars." I'm like, "All right, this nigga." <laughs> I think this might be it. <laughs> Listen, you ordered salad with me for sixty dollars. Is it? But it's a lobster. Like I don't give a flying lobster. It's at Nobu. It's I not will just go any salad. Buy, listen, I go. It's actually one. like more than sixty dollars. He was wrong. I would go fucking go in the water and get you a fucking lobster and put that shit on the fucking trap and do naked and afraid out here. What I, naked yeah, and afraid? Yeah, naked and afraid. Like they find things and they put make the fire in the woods and. I mean, but also, like, whatever. I, like, I buy myself that salad. Was we answering somebody's question just now? Actually, we're talking about dates and <laughs> This is why. <laughs> Who's on drugs? Who's on drugs? Let's just skip everything. Who's on drugs? Because it's clearly the fuck you. <laughs> Who was he talking about this now? Somebody. Yes, yeah, so I was looking at something on Instagram. Did y'all see this shit? Like where the woman was peeling the potatoes on the fucking cement? No. My nigga. It's some new like challenge or technique or some yeah. shit. And the bitch is outside rubbing the potato on the cement. She got the soap like she cleaned it. And then rubbing the shit and it's peeling the skin off the potato. And she's just pouring water to clean it. And just like it's fucking disgusting. Yeah. Can we see it? It's like some island thing. This is it. Soap. She cleaning it. What's she cleaning? The street. But I mean the sidewalk, but look. I seen the Instagram version, so it was, you know. I'm saying where somebody threw up. It's fine. You about to see. No, somebody didn't throw up. Come on, bitch. Not bitch, but bitch. All right. <laughs> Bro. I guess she ain't have a um a One, pillar. Yeah, probably a pillar. Or a fucking knife. <laughs> Cause she could have just used the knife. You know that thing that Charlemagne is doing right now with the mental health thing? <laughs> the thing he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I think that she's one of these people. <laughs> Oh shit, what that said said Charlotte be at the top. It did. Go ahead, go back real quick. Mental health. <laughs> she got a mental health. Watch this. What'd that say? Oh. <laughs> I told y'all. <laughs> All right, so what have you seen this video and realized that was your cousin and you always eat her potato salad? No, I'd be like, yo, ma, my like, auntie, gotta go holla at Pam. <laughs> Yo, y'all see what's going on? I call one of my female cousins, like, yo, what's going on? Like, I don't know, she's been wilding lately. Y'all see what the fuck she's going on? See who her next who her new boyfriend is. It's always a new boyfriend who got them into some new shit. Would you still eat from her house? Never. Never. I think anybody who got bipolar dig up their nose too much. So no. <laughs> not cooking no food with me, bipolar. And so there was, excuse me, there was a restaurant that was caught washing rags and utensils in a lake. The police caught them. They had to fucking Why? shit. I don't know what's wrong with people. <laughs> what is wrong with people? <laughs> everybody think everybody just played too much. That's all I'm thinking because it's like, <laughs> if you got a restaurant, I'm sure you could afford a dishwasher, right? Mm-hmm. 
Come on, or use the steam. You know, you know where it um, gets a lot of things. You know the, the little steamer thing that you have for clothes. That thing you go like this, you steam uh -huh. the clothes. You can steam everything. What you gonna steam the food? No, I mean steam, the, the utensils. Yes, and, and the um inside the the plate. I mean the thing that go over the um. Why don't the they tables. just wash them? The steamer is better now. Steamer get then washing. Oh, steamer get everything out. So you would eat off a fork that they just put in a steamer, steamer. without cleaning. Yeah, steamer is way better than washing. You got to do both. Nah, I want you steam you high. And when you have a dishwasher, it does the steam and does all the drying shit. It does. I just do steam wash. You supposed to do the other one too? Wash, wash. Steam that means wash. it's steaming and it's washing, right? Steam wash. You can't just steam something. I think you should steam it because it get real, real, real hot. When you touch it, it like burns. Yeah, fingers. but then there'll be shit stuck on it, hot, dry. All right, he has thrown his legs. So look, he got caught. They had him on video. Y'all dumb asses. Yo, what you think would have happened to me if I fucking got caught putting um, utensils on my meat? Man. What? When I, in the diners. That's what I was doing. Put my, my meat on the forks and knives. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you're nasty. Why would you do that? Did, I'm saying, did they get a charge? Yeah, they um they got caught. So it was a Chinese restaurant in Tennessee. Um, I don't know what the fuck. I know the health department closed the restaurant down. I don't know what charge they, they got. They going to open it back up in little kid's name. <laughs> little Chang Wu. He's going to go into his name now. They have you ever seen location? Have you ever seen some nasty shit in a restaurant? All the time. And you go back? Yes, it's the only spot to eat when I was in college. <laughs> <laughs> what did you see? Rat. Ah. Uh. I seen a rat. We all seen them rats. It act like we didn't see them inside the hood, ch chicken shacks, and the Chinese stores. Every Not time. rat. Maybe mouse. Same shit. No, I don't. Have I seen him? A no. And a mouse is the same One thing. time I went to this restaurant and we were sitting outside and the rat ran past everybody like that motherfucker just ran through the shit. I was like, oh, but we were outside. I had a heart attack for sure. I'm terrified of shit. Nasty fuck. I ran out of a restaurant and like a real nice restaurant. We all in the back with the VIP, me, Charlamagne. We got two females with us. And oh, really? Yeah, I mean, his wife and I had somebody with me. And, Who's somebody? Uh, it's my family. It was like people's family. L'Oreal, can I tell a story? You said two ladies. That sounds like yeah, because it was like all right. So we was all inside the back of the restaurant. You better say it was Charlemagne's wife. It was, and uh, she remembered the story. And we was all there, and Charlemagne was like, "Yo, I just need to see something run, run past." And I'm like, uh, "You just want me to see me run? I'm not doing this front of this fucking restaurant for all these people." Saying, next "Hold on, I just seen you run from a rat." Me and you. No, you ran. You pushed me out the way and you ran past me. Yeah. Yes, he did. <laughs> I was like, why is this? And that alley coming out I of was like, why is this bitch ass nigga running? Like, and he just was like, uh. Hey, God. Ah! He was screaming and everything. Hide me and everything. But go ahead. Sorry. Get back to the story. I did say that exact thing. <laughs> <laughs> you just finished it. It was that. Nah, so, so he was like, yo, Wax, I just seen something run past the floor. And I'm like, ah, whatever. I'm not listening to you. And then next to you know, listen, like mid mid something I'm saying, I'm saying it, and I seen a fucking mouse shoot across behind him. So only thing I could think of is like a hundred of them under my under the, uh, fucking, <laughs> under this table right now. And they all out to get me. And I just stood up like on a chair, like right away, and I seen look at the door and I shot out of the door. So I probably took like maybe three steps to get out of there, because I'm thinking it's like a floor full of fucking rats. And all of them shits it after me. I had to get the fuck out of there. You're a weirdo. I don't know. I don't know what happened to me. So if I see one rat, it's like me seeing a hundred. And I get like scared as hell. Okay, so a video shows a naked... Well, let's get back to the... Let's start over. Mm -hmm. So we're going to... Yeah, I got to start it though. So we're going to get into savage news. Here's something. It's always some crazy shit going on. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> so it was a video that released. It was a motherfucker that was naked. He was running around crazy. Mm -hmm. And the yeah. police was trying to get his ass. Of course, he was white. 
Because mm -hmm. I I said the police was trying to get him, so that should already tell you he was white. Uh, so he what's wrong with you guys? Just sit down. Stop look at, running. Look at so when I first seen it, I thought it was <laughs> funny, right? Because he's running from him. Yes. But when I first seen it, I thought it was funny till I found out that he killed a child and um, this man's wife. He was a pro baseball player. So he killed his wife and his child. But he got hit in the head with too many motherfucking balls or something. What the fuck is wrong? This with you? nigga. Oh, see, it's three people. Mm -hmm. So he killed his own mother, his sister, and his one year old nephew. What the fuck is going on? But again, you a Tampa know, Bay Rays player. I don't know if y'all remember what I was telling you about. If a man is naked, everybody going to run away from him. Not even a fucking cop want to shoot the man who's naked. Well, there's. Um, See, it looks kind of like a joke. Like, it doesn't even look real. Mm, it looks like wow. cops. Remember that show? What the fuck is going look, on? Look, why would he be doing this? Them, them motherfuckers know how to use a taser, a gun, all kind of Everything shit. Any other time. Guy, right? Right. Come on. Look, he starts strangling this guy. <laughs> Yo, and it's not funny. It's not funny. See, don't it look fake? Yeah, man. What the fuck? You like, get off me. God. Like, he's not even trying to fight him. Oh, Why wouldn't you try to fight him? Don't like, hit me choking. with that thing. They should just show it. It would probably be funny if they would show his dick. No, I don't want to see that. <laughs> I appreciate it. But where is he going? I see multiple cop cars and only see one cop chasing him. This is why it looks like it's a joke. I can't believe they're not doing nothing to do to, like, shoot his feet. Something. Like, shoot the ankle. There we go. We got the doggy. Get shot. Bite his meat. <laughs> the, the dog the ran. <laughs> the dog <laughs> ran away from the naked guy. Oh, no. That dog got him. No, he didn't. No, the he dog was. ran away from the naked guy. <laughs> the dog. He did run. He ran away. But then he got him after. What? I bet you the cops are mad as hell they got to tackle a uh, naked guy. Who got him? Watch this. Nobody. If he get back up and run, I'm telling you. Look at this guy right here. Like, hey, I wasn't touching him. Y'all bold. <laughs> I wasn't touching that motherfucker. Imagine getting arrested after him and you guys sit in the same spot. He was like rubbing his fucking balls on. But imagine getting arrested in that fucking grass, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, every time you roll around the grass, you get like them, them itchy. You know what I'm saying? That's the least of his worries. What is he smoking? Some dope. Nah, what's that bath salt shit that niggas yeah. is doing a few years ago? Shit, they got a, they, in Florida, they got a fucking problem with fucking Molly's right now. They say people going crazy off Molly's. Because they got some other shit in it. Yeah, Molly got like everything in that motherfucker. So y'all young dudes out here who doing Molly is not cool. If you want to be like Wax, Wax get pussy. You never did that shit before? Never. <clears throat> I faked the e-pill one time. I, I did that shit once. No, I did it more than once. I'm tripping. Yeah, I faked the e pill. I went like this. I, I took all them a couple extra, times. Yeah, I took. I always fake all them like extra drugs because I never already know myself. I, I know how I am when I drink. I don't know myself. I don't know what the fuck is going on. And I'm and I'm probably going to try to impregnate like as many girls as I can because I really want to do that in my life. Nah, I can't fuck with them shits. Like when I like when I was younger, I definitely would like fuck with the hair and there. And mm -hmm. like one time, I remember being like in a gas station. Right Yo, when my well, friends face. was coming from a club. You know how you just grabbing chips and waters and shit yeah. like that. So we in there, I'm fucked up, and the fucking guy was in there sweeping. I'm like, let me get that for you. <laughs> 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 and all I remember was just like sweeping, and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? And then some lady was like at the counter. I was like, don't worry, miss. I could get this for you. I was like being nice to people as fuck, like buying like, nigga you shit. You know why? Because you so mean. You, this is what you really want to be. Oh, I remember. Really want to be nice and sweet yeah, for the you, guy that's at the what gas you really station. Really want to do? You feel sorry for people. And that's 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 how it is. With, with me. I was like, let me help you out. Look like you had a long day. That's how it is with me when I drink, man. When I drink, it'd be like I want to have a bunch of kids. So right now, if somebody get me drunk right now, any girl I'm touching, I'm trying to get her pregnant. So don't drink with me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Slap the shit out of my hand. Okay, anyway, um, a mother and daughter still crab legs. This is in Tennessee, too. Tennessee got a lot of shit going on there. You're hungry, man? Come <laughs> to Smith Family Farms, LLC. We got you. Um, crab legs is good, so I feel them. 
<laughs> you can't steal them though. I mean, it is eight ninety nine a pound. Nah, them shits add up. Yo, and it's only a little up. bit of meat in you there. You know what I'm saying? Come on, they gotta do better with that shit, yo. You even if you get them to cook at home, that should be like forty dollars, fifty dollars. Yo, I spent forty three dollars the other day on a fucking crab legs. So I had to get the salad and the, and the rice just to make it seem like it was something else. But you had to cook it yourself, and you paying fucking sixty dollars by the time you get the salad nah, and the rice. Nah, I wasn't cooking. That. Oh, see, so you was a cooking. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck going on. I'm talking about if you really wanted some crab legs oh, and you yeah, sitting yeah. I, in a crab. I got, it. I got it for, but I didn't cook it. But even if you wanted to get the shit on your own, you might as well go out to motherfucking eat. Let them steam eat. it. Yeah, yeah steam you get it. what I'm saying? Twenty dollars more. Twenty dollars more, and a bitch will come serve it to yep. your ass. And they got that 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 yellow stuff that you could pour on it that make it um, taste good. It's called so. butter. Hot. Oh, them too. Oh, they like they still crab legs, especially <laughs> her. She got them shit stuffed in her fucking cheeks. Yo, <laughs> what you is know she? What? Yeah, you, can, <laughs> you you did it. So knock it off with yeah, the girl face. But stupid. she looked like one of the girls, one of the first girls that sucked their titties. And she had like hanging titties. Like. This older woman, <clears throat> excuse me, this older woman right here? Yeah, she looked like the girl. <clears throat> that I, I was, uh, I sucked the titties. Me and my dude, Rayshawn. Rayshawn had a girl, had the other girl. That lady looked like she at least 50. Three. Nah, but the lady, the <laughs> girl was she was young, but she had like old lady titties already. She like they like, they hang real long, and like the nipple just came up like this a little bit. Okay, well they went into super low. <clears throat> what the fuck? They went into super low grocery store and stuffed crab legs inside their purses. The Can't manager, purses. yeah, the manager tried to stop them, <laughs> <laughs> but they were stuck. She struck them twice in the face. Nice. Yeah, and they fought for them crab legs. Yeah. You're not hungry. surprised by the theft because crab legs and oxtails are, oxtails are targeted items in the store. Nice. Yo, they stole two hundred dollars worth of crab legs. That's probably really only that's like a lot. That's like that's probably like four. Yeah, that's like four. That's like four pounds. That's four of them. Nowadays, pounds. yeah, because it's like four something. It's like uh, how much a pound? It was a lot. Nah, it's more than that, but it's only probably like twenty. Nah, hell no, L'Oreal. Twenty motherfuckers for two hundred. Niggas would grab that shit all day. It's like oh yeah, four. ten. It's like four. Yeah. <laughs> they had ten. I'm tripping. Okay. Uh... Oh yeah. Okay. So. I seen this video. I don't know how the fuck we gonna tie this into anything, but we just gotta play it anyway. What we got? Ooh, go wax. It's Look, me. She gonna show you something. Oh, I fuck with her. Have you ever had somebody do that before? Not yet. Hey, any one of my girls want to hold my, my shit down for me like that? So go. basically, there's a video that I've seen that it's a girl. It shows her facing us butt first. And she's like fixing her dress up. And then out of nowhere comes a gun from underneath her shit. That's so was the gun shoved up her pussy? Nah. Or was it in her she, panties? Yeah, it probably was in her panties. She that really shit looked like it was shoved up her vagina to nah. me, how she was digging in there like that. Nah, I ain't wet. If it pussy that dry, it would have ripped that shit up. Yuck. Yeah. I don't know why this just looks Now, nah, if that shit was, came out slimy, I'd be like, oh, that pussy wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the caption says, don't ask me why I love her. So she holds the gun in her, yeah, her panty. You can, hold, you can hold a gun. I don't mind that. You know what I'm saying? You get into the club, you get into the airport with that shit, and we get to ride with that shit, and then you, you get away. I kind of love you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I love I love my certain suitcases that I have. I love certain things that I have in my house. You gotta keep people numbers up there. All right, thank you. <laughs> Definitely look like the titty sucker. <laughs> yeah, you're disgusting. Definitely though. Okay. Um. If my boy Ray Shaw has seen this, he was like, "Yo, that definitely look like her, bro. That's funny as hell." Let's get into black excellence. Love so it. Mattel made uh had a woman series. And they honored Rosa Parks and made a Barbie after Rosa Parks. Dope. So the Barbie came with inspirational material. I mean, informational material. Mm. So it just tells you all about her life and, you know, everything. You know who Rosa Parks is. I'm about to say, can I ask you a question, please? The lady that was on the bus, right? Rosa Parks. Okay. All right. Finally. No, no, I do. I know. Of course. Miss Rosa, of course. What else did she do? 
She cannot all be only the lady that sat on the bus all these years. That's like Kaepernick. So that's it. So he knew. No, nah, I'm joking. She sat I'm on the bus. That's just what it is. No, she's an activist, though. She's a she's so she done so a much more. marches and all kind of stuff. Okay, it's like like not not Emma Till. What's the lady that went and freed all the people that was on uh, with John Harriet Tubman? Harriet Tubman. That's the Underground Railroad. Yes. So she Harriet or her did more. It's different times. Because I think Harriet should be more out there than than um they should have a Harriet to um She was going to be she's supposed to be on a $20 bill. Oh yeah? That's the one that you was like never mind. Yo, Harriet's kind of thorough. Yeah. Yeah, but okay, so she sat on the bus. So I think that you you'll be probably um Rosa Parks of these days because somebody tried to tell you to move on a bus, you ain't going nowhere. I ain't going to motherfucking place. And so you motherfucking Rosa Parks. I'm Rosa Parks. L'Oreal Parks. <laughs> <laughs> Rosa L. All right, we got to figure it out. We got to get the name right. We got to get the name right. <laughs> um, so the doll sold out. It was sold out, I think, so, that very same day. How much? Um, I don't know. It doesn't matter now because you can't buy it. That's dope. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? We could make some duplicates. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't shit. So who do you think should be a, a, the next doll? They've had Amelia Earhart, which is the first... Woman to fly. Peace. Um, Sally Ride, who is the first female, youngest female astronaut to mm -hmm. go to the moon or space. What is it? Which one? Mm -hmm. The moon. In space. You had to go in space. Then you have um, a few other women. So who who would you think needs to be a doll? My mom. My mom had 12 kids. She uh, had to deal with my dad all these years. Um, she had to look at your ugly mug. She had to definitely deal with me and like pray with me for years and be an amazing and a, amazing woman that she is. Uh, my mom, for real. But besides Yo, my mom. That's, they should do that. They should let you make yeah. your moms. So if we can get in touch with these people and we could do that, I would love to make a dog Shh. in my mom. Nigga, this is money right here you talking about. So then say, whack, shut the fuck the up. Fuck? You it. I'm telling you now. Oh, that was that what that was? That was some church shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so Keisha Knight Pullum. That's how you say her name, right? She um she's Rudy from the Huxbos. Okay. Which one is she? Rudy. She, right? She's not the she's not the fiend, right? Who is the fiend now? Which one is Somebody the Somebody look oh, the Kate and Ashley girls. One is Full House, the other one is the Cosby show, one is white. The other is black. One is two people. The other <laughs> one is one. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I mixed up some type of how. And so um, she has, she's has a foundation called the Fearless Fund, and it's a it's for a venture capitalist. So she's going to be investing fifteen million dollars. Wow! It's her, and I believe it's someone else. So the Huxley Show her. gave you that much money. It's her and someone else. I can't remember who the other person was. But um Nice. I, I didn't should... know you was packing like that, Rudy. Who's the other person? I wanna shout them out too. What you know about that, Rudy? Hold on, I got it. That's not Rudy, right? right here. What you know about that, Willis? Oh Willis. Yeah. Huh? Bud. Yeah. No, I said there was more than one person that she probably got like Ariane Simone. Yeah, okay, there we go. Ari and Simone. Oh, the um the other little girl. <laughs> so some of the people that are well, it's created to help fund women of color um and to start up companies. So That's respect. It's a lot of people that's helping them out. They have like a whole network of people. And um yeah, I think they're doing something amazing. So shout out to them, shout out respect. to her. All the black women doing something. I appreciate y'all come together. And let's get these black other black women off child support. Let's get them off child support. What? All right. What does that have to do with anything? I don't know. I think child support is getting too much money, and these women need to just get off of it, and let's come together and let's do something. Okay. So the little girl from Blackish is involved. Uh, Mar How you say her name? Marcy or Marci? Martin. Hi. Marsha Martin, I love I love her. She's so cute. I don't know why I don't know how to say her name. That's awful. But yeah, okay. So that was oh no, one more thing. Quavo 
Did we okay. talk about this already? Never heard that. Quavo's got a cartoon coming. Oh, that's dope. Anything for the kids, man. Kids and women spend the most money. If you're doing something with the kids and women, that's so dope. Okay, so it's an animated series developed for children between the ages of 8 and 12. So it's going to be produced by Quality Control and Motown. And it's going to be set in Atlanta's hip-hop music and culture scene. So he said he's always thought about doing animation his whole life. Oh. So shout out to him doing it for the kitties. Love it. Okay, so let's get into who's on drugs. Who's on drugs? 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 If y'all need some advice, why the fuck would you eat all the M&M's, I've right? Been that before, and guys. then you just leave it in my face. So now that I got can the munchies, I'm like, damn, I want an M&M. And I'm can like, but I know that. Can we get some? No, we, get, we need to answer calls. Come on. At the same time, we could do two things at one. I could, um, what is it called? Go get them? <laughs> no, no. You could do two things at once. What is it called? Probate? All right. Okay, on. so... Um, so tell them what's the number to call, nigga. Call 347-679-6118 and probate with us. <laughs> He's so annoying. Okay, <laughs> so the topic today is would you freeze your girl's eggs so you can sleep around? I don't think he was the only one to sleep around. <laughs> that is what he's doing. No, I think that he's just trying to finish up and, and get his life together with his job. Now, again, what I say, if you... If you out there and you know that you want to get your life together before you have your kids and then have it, you got to pay for it. But if you know that you out here bullshit with these other girls, you're not strung this girl life alone. Your cousin can get her pregnant because they was fucking anyway. So again, the topic is, would you freeze your girl's eggs if you wanted to just sleep around? <laughs> <laughs> and ladies, I want to know, what if he asked you? To do that. Like, hey, can we freeze your eggs so I could fucking sleep around? <laughs> I, I mean, gonna fuck your cousin because he's fucking her anyway. I mean, what else? How else would you put this question? Because that's the only way I see it. Like, would you freeze your girl's eggs? Yes. Because you're not ready to settle down. Yes. He might still want to fuck your other friend because she's hot. But girls, you can't get mad when he want to fuck your friend. It's like you and your girl got a lot in common. That's why y'all together, right? So call us. Who's on drugs? Who's on drugs? Fucking Riri. <laughs> <laughs> Shit is ridiculous. So much for being a co-host. Thank you. <laughs> We've had all kind of rude calls. You? Hi, I hope you're a good you. one. Oh, shit. I made it through again. Good. Yes, sir. Uh-oh, again. Which one are you? Oh, no. Nah, I called like weeks and weeks ago. I was talking about um, getting caught by my ex-girl watching, like, a fucking video or some shit like that. I think I remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't. Yeah. <laughs> I listened back to that episode. I said, yo, I sound crazy. If that bitch <laughs> ever hear that shit, I'm fucked. <laughs> she, 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 did, oh, she, 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 she DM'd our camera guy. You silly. Uh, <laughs> no, she's <laughs> like... <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. The but worst nah, is when somebody oh, listens to something you saying about them and you don't think that they're listening. Amazing. That's the worst thing. And a motherfucker call you like you was talking about me when you said no, that wasn't you. They gonna that girl gonna hear you. Just know. What's her name? Uh, oh, it's my baby mother. It was my baby mother. Oh, so. the baby mama gonna hear you. What's her name? <laughs> I don't give a fuck, but what I'm calling y'all about is about her right now. L'Oreal, I need your advice from a woman's perspective. Okay. All right, so my, me and my big mother been together for, like, on and off for about six, seven years. For the past two years, it was strictly her fucking up. Like, mm -hmm. she kept fucking up. I decided to be a good dude and completely stay committed because that's what she deserved, whatever, whatever. Uh, the past year, we haven't been together, but we was fucking around, and she couldn't get her shit together, so I finally decided to move on and pursue my life. Pursuing my single shit, I finally happened to meet a young lady who, that bitch got my head over heels, like, <laughs> I, 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 I swear to God, like, I never met a girl like this in my life, like, and it just so happens that she's a black queen, my Ooh. baby mother's wife. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. You ain't so, fuck Vaseline, though. He is. Shut so, so up, I, Wax. So basically... <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong basically, with him? <laughs> basically, I am obsessed with this new girl. I fuck with her, but now my baby mother wants to be back with me so bad. Of course. Who pussy better? Know you moving uh, on. Who pussy better? <laughs> uh, the new girl. Shit, that well, I girl. don't see what the problem What's is. The problem? The other one, who cook? Who cook better? <laughs> who cook better? Who cook better? The, yeah. Obviously, not the white girl. She don't season. I thought. I told my. I taught my baby mother how to cook, first of oh, all. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Did you so. teach her how to wash chicken? You ain't teach her how to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And you definitely teach her how to cook that chicken. <laughs> they just don't they don't know how to make it stick to the um to the meat. To it's the, not the, the same, meat. right. Yeah, they're not. I bet you stress. she fried chicken way better than the white girl. Yes. Your baby mom, sorry. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Oh, my, my new chick, she Haitian. Like, oh, poor, poor Haitian. she done put blood the in the spaghetti already. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and the over. season is inside of the chicken. Not the, 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 the crisp is under the fucking meat. It's they over. They do a back. <laughs> she got you. She, she, put, she, oh, she absolutely. She, that hey, voodoo ain't do no joke. not let her cook this oatmeal that got these nuts, the berries and stuff in it. Oh, Yo, man. Man. And rasta Yo, porridge man. is called. And rasta pasta. Oh Yo, Wax, want to hear some shit, though? Talk to me. I don't got to worry about no, because she got a kid. She got a kid, right? Her daughter is uh, a little older than my daughter. Okay. But her baby father is no longer on this earth. Oh. So, n- no baby daddy drama. Like, wow. Great, uh, I just deal with her. I'm talking about it's perfect with this girl. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so, what's but, the problem again? But, but what's up with her daughter? Like, her other daughter? Like you said, now the problem kids, is your kids is y'all, they're around the same age. That's not bad. No, you met her kid. Yeah, her daughter is sick. Yeah, I met her daughter. That's how you know the shit ain't no joke. Like, uh uh-uh, uh, that's real. That's real. And then you like and, her, and she, your baby and mom. She met my daughter. Yeah, and your baby mom been playing games for years. Yeah, she How many ain't kids shit. y'all got? And she probably fucking other black guys too. Cause she don't fuck no white guys. No, yo, wax, yo, wax, here, here's the crazy wax. part about it. Nah. After me, she went back to white men for a little bit because she said, nah, fuck that. You too black for me. So she went back to white dudes and she said, I can't handle it. She went right back to black. She came right back to me. But it's too late. She said you is too black for her? You can't fuck with her no more. She, she's like, <laughs> one, of her, one, of her, one of her parents is racist, the other's not. Hell yeah, they call you a nigga behind your back. Definitely do. Don't fuck with her no more. Every time she get mad at you, See, in front she of your call child. you a nigger. In front of your child. Wait, 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 wait. Her mother's dead, and her oh, father shit. is uh, um, a predator. He's a child molester, so no. Boy, what you get yourself into? He's, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. Is she white? No, and her baby daddy no, dead. No, so no, 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 no. You mixing the baby mama with the girlfriend? Oh, the you baby mama. Okay, okay. Baby yeah, I'm no. about to say she kills. No, my new thing. <laughs> that bitch got that voodoo pussy. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Yo, 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 after the second time I fucked her, I said, yo, you put voodoo on your pussy. I yo, listen, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, ha- I have my share of Haitian girls, and they definitely, they got like a tonsil in their pussy, man. A tonsil. That shit grabs <laughs> your meat, yo, that, grab, right? that, that shit grabs you, right? Like, they, 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 they got an automatic Kiko inside. It be like this, Kikos. I know that's a fact. Yeah. That is a fact. Them Kikos, so once you nigga, put it in there... <laughs> If you, as soon as you pull it out, it be like, come here, you ain't going out. Uh. I'm like, this motherfucker is your pussy, That's stupid. Old, yeah, it's retarded. Okay, That's so. Day, like, oh, my God. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I say, well, so, yeah. did you, does your baby mom know about your new girlfriend? Yeah, she actually, oh, shit. I did some fucked up shit, and I sent a text because my baby mother's name is Vanessa. My new girl, her name is Vanessa. Nice. So, uh. I fucked around. No, 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 but this this was completely on my phone. You know how you could call or go, hey, Siri, on the iPhone? Mm-hmm. And, like, yo, hey, Siri, text me. Uh-huh. That's why you can't fuck I, with this. I'm like, yo, yeah, I'm like, hey, Siri, text uh, Vanessa. So, 
back. Well, hey, baby girl, I had a good night last night. Nice. I hope you ain't get to work late, blah, blah, blah. That shit went right to my baby mother. Nice. Listen, at the That's end of the, the day. That's the only reason at, she wants to come back. Yeah, listen, at the end of the day, you fuck happy. your baby mama. She was fucking other guys on you, bro. And you wasn't fucking. And usually all the guys that call up here who's not having sex with somebody else, they're girls usually having sex with somebody. So you was like a sucker for a couple of years. I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. You like a sucker. That's kind of fucked up. One thing I can say is she, the one thing about my baby mother I can say, and I know this for sure because I want, I'm not an insecure nigga. So I know when a bitch is lying and when she's telling the truth. The one thing about her is when we were actually in a relationship, she never cheated on me. She was an, she was an addict. So her uh, addiction would cause her to go out. Uh, yeah, her, her addiction would cause her to go out and go on binges. And I just couldn't take that shit no more. When you said that, fucking up, we assumed cheating. cheating. Yeah. Yeah, no, see, that's why y'all niggas get it fucked up. Not everybody want to fuck everybody. Wax yes, taught me that. I, th I, I thought so. <laughs> I, but, but, but listen, but what type of what type what type of shit she was on? Wax, I'll tell you, hold on. I'm gonna bring this back around. What was she on? Wax told me that. Hold on. Cocalinas, huh? Cocalinas. The Cocalinas. Oh, oh, the Cocalinas. She might have. Yeah, she so. might or might not been doing nothing. So Cocalinas. <laughs> you know uh, so that was like she, but I, I, I was she out partying all night or like? She would disappear, like sell your TV. Like, how does this? <laughs> all, right. all right, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna break it down simple. So she's like she's a very dope function. She's a functioning addict because she's Jeez. a school teacher in the daytime. Oh, nice. So she could she she goes out in the party life and she has a set group of friends. Like, like now, honey, this is my child's mother. Mm -hmm. I know all the people that she's around. We all grew up together, so she's not around random motherfuckers. She's yeah. around a bunch of our close friends, but they all do drugs. I used to pop pills back in the day when I was younger, but this was before we had our daughter. Right. I've been stopped that shit. I don't had, I had like at least 10 to 15 close friends of mine die from just drug overdoses. Oh my goodness. So, not. I gotta stop smoking I don't, weed. I don't play that Nah, fuck out of here. Smoke all day. I'm about to pull up. I'm about to pull up this country right now. Pull up. I, they fuck say that's a them. gateway drug. We ain't well, that gateway be always <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I grew up, I'm from uh, I'm from Long Island so you know I grew up with black and white so a lot of my friends is black so I done had niggas get killed and I done had niggas die from drugs so I done lived both sides of that shit that's wild yeah that's crazy so alright so yeah, she never time. sold your TV Hell no. Okay, okay. All right. So when I'm thinking uh, addict, I don't know why I'm thinking funny. like Snowfall. Yeah, I'm, I'm, thinking, about, I'm thinking about Pookie in New Jack City. You don't watch Snowfall? <laughs> like she started selling everything in the yeah, crib, the radio, yeah. postcards. That bitch was trying to sell anything. Yeah, that's yeah, don't, my show. Don't let me forget that movie you said watched earlier. Wentworth is a series uh -huh. on But anyway, um But no, sorry, you never gave me my damn advice. I what think we I always do, like, do that, right? <laughs> that's a fact <laughs> okay well I think I, think... I just wanna go ahead I let my baby mother down in a way where it's like cause right now she's starting to use my daughter in between like my daughter the other day I was at the house she started going mom um, daddy don't be mean to mommy love my mommy that shit fucked me up and that's not right she's oh, using my daughter now they gonna do that but it, is, it is gonna hurt and you, go, you gotta still say I apologize in front of my only for the kid but when you when she walk away, you she gotta have that conversation with her. Like, don't yeah, don't play, you know, play do with me, the kid like that. You yeah, know do saying? me a favor. You gotta talk to her in a nice tone at first. You just gotta be like, you know, don't do that. Like, our problems are our problems. Period. She's a child. Get the fuck out the way. You know what I mean? And as far as like her fucking up, damn. So it's so y'all was broken up for how long just now? Uh, we've been broken up for about almost. About a year and a half. And as oh. soon as she seen that you had this girl, that's when she's coming back around? Like, not back around, because you were uh, around her, but this is how she's coming back, trying to be with you again? Or she's been trying? Uh, uh, when you, no, it was more like, as soon as this happened, that's when she was like, oh, hell no. I can't let this nigga go. Yeah, no. Yeah. I feel like that's how women get though. Yeah, once you know, you'll never know what you lost lost until you lose it, right? Is that mm -hmm. saying right? 
Yeah, I guess maybe. But I like told you. Shit. Um, I was bullshit when See, I said that. I just heard that. That's not how it really go, but I think we all knew what you were trying to say. I was say. trying to say something. I thought I said it. Okay, so, yeah, you never know what you got until it's gone. <laughs> I didn't say that? No. <laughs> <laughs> until you know it You said something about it Until you know it I don't know Yeah I thought I had it No almost oh. But um Yeah I definitely think like uh. If you were not happy In that other situation You tried it A lot of times You stayed with it for a while And you know Nothing came of it Or she wasn't changing And she's not showing That she changed And you got this other woman That's coming into your life That you really actually like And she makes you feel different That pussy good I as think hell. Yeah if you really feel like It ain't just about the pussy because you can't just be with somebody because they're pussy. It's, nah. it's the pussy and the seasoned food. Bro. Nah, I'm not. All right, so hold up, hold up. No, besides the food and the pussy being that good, I'll say one thing about this girl. When I'm around her, the world stops. That's See, all, so that's you, all I can problem. you, you don't love her. That, but you don't want that. Come on, don't be wild. How old are you? I'm 27. You ain't got time for your world to stop right now. I mean, your world we only, shouldn't we, we, stop. We only get bum get ass girls right now. We only need bum ass girls in the stage we at and our grinding. But I'm just telling you, unless you know for sure it's for facts, it's only what you're facts, listening to. Listen, it only, unless you know for, for for sure for facts for facts, don't put don't do that. Unless you know for a fact. Listen, I feel like if you live your whole life being scared to get into a relationship or something like that, that's going to be a miserable life. I think that you, if yep. you feel this way about this woman, I don't think the world should stop as far as like you got to stop going to work and not doing what you're doing. I think. No. no oh, hell no. As long as you're still focused <laughs> on what you have to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you feel how you feel with Being her i think that's sucks, great though. it's great don't listen to him being in that's love gonna fuck your yeah. whole life up being being in love. fucking mad people Yo, and going from i ain't saying you gotta fuck mad got people <laughs> but don't be in love hold your heart because if you think you stuck right now because you're in love with her if she do something to you you think you stuck now yeah Yo, if you whoa. if you listen to wax you're gonna end up alone fucking vaseline do okay. not do well it. you know what you right all right, so, uh, all right, guess what? I, if that's seen that I'm bad, take, if you try I'm it. Gonna take a little bit of, I'm going to take a little bit of both of you guys' advice because Wax does have a somewhat of a point. Thank you. I'm not going to give this girl my all because Thank at the you. end of the day, he is correct. I can't trust her 100%. I just met her a few months ago just Boom. because I'm head over heels and right now. And that pussy now. too good. You know so the other niggas after Are her. you fucking her without a condom? Why do you think he's going crazy already? Yes. Absolutely. Excuse me, just let him answer so I can say what I got to say. Go ahead. Are you fucking her with yes. other guys? So what do you mean trust? That seemed like a lot. Because you could get that girl pregnant and now that's your baby mom too. Oh, that mean I trust you because I fuck you raw? No, that's not what it means at all. <laughs> if that's the case, we, we all fucked up. We got to trust all wrong. We need to change the fucking word He's in the dictionary. He's fucking her raw on a di uh, Well, constantly. change it. Change that. We got to change trust. Trust don't only mean smash you raw because you shouldn't be you trusting them with your life, nigga. They can have AIDS. So if that's the case, I give her my social security number. The same bitch I'm fucking raw, and I'm not giving her that bitch so my social security number. So stop fucking everybody raw. So if I don't give her my social security number, don't fuck her raw. That's yeah. what you're saying. Yes, then you'll be fucking less bitches raw. Oh shit, you right? That's L'Oreal. That's kind of smart. <laughs> 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 if, if you don't give her your social security number, don't fuck her raw. Don't fuck her raw. That's L'Oreal. You came up to uh, 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 sound bite for L'Oreal. That's how. But no, <laughs> no, but no. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying to y'all is, I'm not gonna completely. When I say I'm not gonna completely open up as far as being vulnerable to the point where she could hurt me. Yeah, uh, you yeah. Know. Basically saying, don't let her hurt. Don't but become also, mad, vulnerable, and in love. Yeah, right. that's what I'm. That's where I'm at. No, he's not. Yes, but I am. Because he said his world stops. So I'm like, hold on. Your world stops and you love her and she's giving you the time and attention. When she stopped giving you time and attention, you're only going to go down from there. You're but fucked. I also don't want him to walk around thinking like, oh, she's going to hurt me. Because that's like putting it in the air. Thoughts become things. No, I just want him to protect his heart because he's 27 years old. Yeah, but you also have to protect your life and know you can't just be living it like she's going to fuck me up. So I can't really be in just love with her. Just put your guard up a little bit. You're still 27 years I old. I mean, yeah, that's no. life. That's why the only thing I can do is just say, yo, I'm having fun with this girl. I really enjoy her. So let me not worry about shit and just have fun. Yeah, enjoy your life for sure. I'm not a hater. I love love. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I love love. If you're in love, that's dope. I want y'all to do it the right way. But I just don't want you to get hurt in the process. Like, man, they told me to go all in. I ain't saying that, bro. I listen to Amy Winehouse. 
Love is losing games. <laughs> I'm sorry, but um, Amy Winehouse is no longer on this. I don't want to hear this. It hurts my feelings. And it was because of depression from being addicted to drugs because she wasn't happy. She was happy. with the wrong guy. If she was with me, I think still be alive She was right with now. the wrong guy writing songs like that. She would have killed me, herself. Amy would have just been black. smoking weed and again, she's getting smoked she like that with Tim's on. Imagine if Sierra was like, you know, the Future black. did Amy, all this shit Amy to me. Winehouse smoked her boots fucking with you. No, she would have smoked wild weed yeah. and getting fucked with a guy with Tim's on. That's it. She would have smoked her own boots way faster. Exactly. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, exactly. I'm All that I would have to do is sing to me. I would have stayed there. I would have stayed there. She only said do the same to me. All types of counseling. No, I'm great guy. Yo, is Charlemagne, get, is Charlemagne giving the counseling to the women you fuck with? Is he helping yeah. them with their anxiety? Is they actually call him? <laughs> they actually call him? They need but, it. But, but, nah, my girl's actually happy, man. I'm saying, as long as they, if they don't think they about if they don't think about me having sex with somebody else, they like got a great life. <laughs> I mean, that's all it is. I, you know, I, if, I, if I think, listen, if, if every I man know have, how best life moves is. listen, if every man have one thing wrong with him, right, and if everybody uh, know mine is just cheating, it's not bad, bro. What the fuck do you mean just cheating? But what else do the next man have? Okay. He wear with thong sandals. The next man fucking shit stinks so fucking crazy in the bathroom. Nigga, the next you man wear, snore crazy. What makes you think wearing Tim's all day, every day is better than I'm the guy that wears Tim's all day? Sometimes wears a thong Listen, sandal. Th- I'm, I'm just trying Your to Your feet die. gotta stink. Like, nigga, smell. you be doing push ups in them shits. <laughs> you be on the chicken farm and it be the same one. They do, though. You're disgusting. But I change them every two weeks. Stop talking about a nigga with thong sandals when you wearing the same boots for. Fucking ever, the just two stop. Weeks. I don't know. That's not what they look as if. No, I could like go okay. like you said, to the farm and all that type of stuff. Thank shit. you for calling us. And Bro, I hope no problem. Hey, I love y'all. I love you guys, yo. <laughs> Bye. I love you. Bye. Bye. I we love you. Too. Greatest podcast, Billy and the Beast. Y'all Bless. niggas are the best. Appreciate Thank it, you. Man. Bless. You already know. All right. I hope we're done because I can't take wax. But what's anymore. wrong with me telling this guy not to put his, all his eggs in one basket? Ugh, it's not even that. It's just you. Because <laughs> I got somebody from B more, and that's how they talk right now. You. And avenue and an avenue and a I, I, miss, I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> how I'm are you? Me. What's up with you? What you doing? they be like chilling. What to do? Give me some grits and chicken. Oh, what's poppin'? Who's on drugs? Who's on mm. drugs? <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you're <laughs> on drugs. <laughs> Where you from, brother? Uh, it's Mel. I'm from PA. Oh, all right. Oh, so you ain't got Yo, that. Oh, you from Philly or uh, Pennsylvania? He said PA. <laughs> Which I'm one from, is it? Man, I'm from Reading, man. I'm from Reading. See, PA, PA, PA means Philly. No. Philly means Philly, and PA is Pennsylvania. So they're the same place, right? Pennsylvania yo, is the yo, state yo, that Philly is in. So Philly's a city? Philly is a city, yes. Man, get the fuck out of here. Did you think that Philadelphia was a state? I thought Philly was a state. And you went to school. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the cheese steaks meant fucking... I thought you had like a fucking um, New Jersey at oh, the you fucking thought it was stadium. Oh, state. <laughs> what? You said... <laughs> I like the third yeah, just please help me. All right. You know what? I just learned something new. Thank you. Okay. What's going on, brother? You tell me what's going on. What's the, what's the topic? Okay, so we don't... <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had somebody <laughs> fucking weigh in on the topic. Okay, so basically it was this. We had a caller that was asking us if he should have his girl yeah, freeze her eggs yeah. so he could fuck yeah. everybody else. And not have a baby with her. She asked him to pay for it. He wasn't ready, so yeah. you think he should do it? Or would you put, do it? Yo, put some fucking, put, tell that nigga to put his belt on and his pants on and just break up with the shorty. I mean, like, what's good with that? I mean, like, why? Time. But but he but he 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 don't want nobody else to have his he, he want to have her baby, but he just ain't ready yet to have her baby. He's stringing her along. Sounds like a hip problem. Sounds like a hip problem. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Like, yo, these dudes out here to be, to be fucking up a good thing. They want to be running back on some bitch shit. Like, what the fuck is good with that? And, and, I, and I say, yo... If I if I know I want to get a girl pregnant, they'd be two weeks into this shit. I'm like, yo, I want to get this bitch pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know right away I want to get this fucking girl pregnant. When do you? When does that wear off? 
Uh, as soon as you get her pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as you get up pregnant, you be like, man, what the fuck was I thinking, you stupid motherfucker? (laughs) Man, I should have fucked your whole life up, bro. Shit. You have kids? No, no, no. I'm 21. I I got a shorty. Uh, We've been together for about like four years. I want kids, but uh, not yet. Let him talk. I didn't hear what he said. You said you want kids, but what? Yeah, I'm way too young for that. Like, I'm the youngest of four, so, like, I guess I'm good with kids. Like, yeah. that's what people say, but I'm way too young for all that shit right yeah. now. Right. Does she want to have kids in the future, though? Do y'all talk about that stuff? I mean, like, after what happened in the past, I mean, like, I called, what was it? I called, uh, I left the voice not too long ago, and uh, what happened in the past, Shorty, you know, Shorty did what she did, you know, she did some dirt, and, uh... Yeah, like now she's kind of like on the ver- like on the wing of it. So like, if she don't want to have kids, then fuck it. I don't want to have kids. Go have kids with somebody else that appreciates the nigga. Like, how old is she? She's twenty. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. She ain't worried about that stuff. So, yeah, yeah. I got time to yeah, just kind of fuck around. She'll be somebody totally different at twenty five, twenty six, for sure. Oh, no, no, no. She's gonna be hopping around the dicks, and I'm not. You know, I'm gonna be aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> but how, so I'm saying, but what is your strategy to try to keep her around then? Like, I mean, he's keeping her around already, right? Right. I mean, like, you know, I, I do shit. You know, I, you know, I take care of the crib. You know, I do what I got to do. I sling dick. You know, I, I'm worried about myself. I'm not in other people's business. Respect. Uh, I'm a family man, and, and that's it. That's what was the last do. big argument no, no. y'all got into? Like, uh, petty shit. Like, oh, why you follow Shorty on Instagram or who's yeah. this on on Facebook? So you know. I don't know what Shorty going. I don't know what's going on in her head, but you know I don't pay that shit no mind. But like, yeah. oh, she's what do you like think? That, what so. do you think? <laughs> That's normal, yeah. I yeah. mean, like, what, or a guy, because guys get mad at shit like that yeah, too. If I see you over here liking somebody's shit that I think they already smashed, or, y- or I think that y'all might have. Yeah, would be so sick if a bitch put some hard eyes underneath a nigga page, and you caught that shit. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck no, it's early for me, man. I'm gonna be on my thirsty shit. I'll just be on all some other shorty's pick and let her do what she gotta do with that. Because you know, if you have a shorty on the side, you know the shorty's gonna come back to you. You feel what I'm saying? Because like Wax said it the other day, he was like, "Oh, if you don't got no shorty on the side, then you know she's gonna get bored of you," which is true. Mm-hmm. So like, you, know, you gotta get, you, know, you gotta keep. Yeah. I'm so happy you, <laughs> you gotta listen. keep her entertained. You know. Yeah. <laughs> keep you her watching keep your other girl. I'm so glad you can relate with a 21 year old and you're. <laughs> <laughs> You're a grown ass man. You're fucking sad as shit. Like, huh? He's what? Oh, you want me? oh yeah, you're Diddy. You. I'm not Diddy. Wax. Diddy. Here you are. Whatever. I like Whatever. that. But listen, man, I appreciate, I appreciate you. How do we do uh, this? I appreciate you listening. That that's good. That's, that was good advice, man. Wax Diddy. Having one girl is too close to zero. I like that. So now you sit there and get rid of her. What the fuck are you gonna do? Have none? Okay, I'm washing my own clothes. I Bullshit. I have another shorty. Jump off, jump off, rip. I'll be like, oh, all right, bet. Soon, it's early. You said y'all been together for four years, so since high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all went to the prom together? Y'all like as a high school sweethearts or some shit. Yeah, a little bit of something like that. But before yeah, Y'all getting married. Yeah, y'all, y'all should get married, but wait till after your 20s. Ah, ah. You saying nah? Oh, you about to go pick her up from work right now? Yep. <laughs> and your Honda uh, Civic. You sound like you got a Civic. <laughs> what type of car you got? I got a Ford. <laughs> you got a what? A Ford. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's you the same thing. Honda, yeah. Yeah. You just dropped her off, or you picking her up? Where she work at? Fast food. Uh, uh she actually a stripper. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I call her to the best. The plot thinking. Yeah, this is so great. So, so you, you, do you y'all ever had a conversation? Is did she have somebody in the um that be paying her to fuck in the back room, lap dance? I mean, like she be coming home, she be bitching about you know all these other dudes and shit. But I mean, like I hope she's telling me the truth. I mean, like all I could do is just you know <sighs> hope for the hope she's actually telling me the truth. But I mean, like she's lied to me in the past. So I mean, like I mean, is it like new? Yeah, like nude, all that shit. Damn. But you know, she tell me she don't be fuck, she don't be fucking people. But 
You know, I could only assume shit. Do, do she be ever bring that extra wad of cash home? Nah, lately, lately, it's, it's been on the slow side. Yeah, no, you wouldn't know because she would smell like condom. Not all the time. She be oh, smashing her, raw, right? though. Condom be fucking... She smashing raw. Right. These She's guys. smashing raw Bro, strangers. You know, you know, if she was smashing raw, you know, she be she wouldn't be coming home. Yeah, strangers in a strip club, you're not going to smash nah, that's probably She probably got the, the extra guy. See, when women, when they do smash uh, a certain guy, it's only a curp, like one or two that they smash. They didn't out here fat fuck it. And this guy got a set price. She like, listen, I come a th- I come every week a thousand dollars on Thursday. You still not gonna I let him fuck her. I know you bitches that fuck. fuck raw, that, I know bitches that fuck for money and they not fucking raw. Trust me. They got one guy and he want he like a raw. I was selling. Well, one guy, years. then that's like a that's just a trick. That's your nigga. Yeah, I was selling at that, that no, point. Exactly. That's his trick. That's she got one trick. Yeah, but that'll be like her nigga. Like bitches nah. that make that they nigga. That, that, the dude at home ain't giving her a thousand dollars a week. Are you giving her a thousand dollars a week, my brother? Fuck no. No. Nah. So you you the one spending a thousand dollars a week. So you ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> okay, so what what if she said to you? What if she said to you, I wanna freeze my eggs because I wanna strip for at least ten more years. Would you help her pay for it? I mean, that's not my body, so I mean, like, that's not my pocket to be digging in. So that's her body, her choice. She does what she wants with that. But she wants to have the babies with you. After she finished fucking her trick. No, it's not. He doesn't know that. (laughs) He don't know it yet. So Uh, you just saying that all strippers fuck for money? Um, it's a gateway drug. (laughs) (laughs) It's weed, yeah. The strip club's like we. It's like we, the gateway drug. So okay, again, do you feel like all strippers fuck for money? Um, I, I maybe have or something. I just wouldn't trust it because it's like, do all cable men fuck the ladies at the at the at fuck all the married women when their husbands at work? That yes. doesn't. How does that? No. The cable man is always fucking. It used to be the milkman when he was back in the day. No, sir. Let me tell you, every cable guy that I've ever had was either trash as fuck or <laughs> whack as fuck. Like, but that's that's their way in. It was like, oh, I got this job. Every every guy goes into his job like, we got where's our puffy our pussy. I privilege? would say the equivalent right now to like an older woman. I mean, not old, whatever. It would be a trainer. Cause look yes. out, Diddy Trainers lost always, yes. to a trainer. Trainers get mad pussy. I trainers think a tra- no, tra- and a lot of trainers be thirsty. Remember that one time y'all had that caller that was a trainer? That nigga wasn't getting no pussy. What the fuck is wrong with him? Because he was not even, he probably was a fat. I'd be professional. Shut the fuck up. You ain't being professional. You ain't fucking none of your, your clients. I'm going to tell you what it is. He's, That's professional. You never went to the gym and seen a fat trainer. And you're like, why the fuck is this nigga training people? And he don't even know how to train himself. <laughs> he was a fat trainer. So that's why he yeah, wasn't getting right. a pussy. You know what? If my shorty get a fat trainer or she got to get a woman. <laughs> I've definitely seen fat trainers before. And they're like, I'm going to tell you. No, you nigga, you don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> you know? But the other nigga going to just Sin, within a like, month, your man is going to get all your nerves. Or you, like, and you want to? You're get gonna to the gym. talk about it when you're in the gym, and yeah, he's gonna like, think wrong? that's his way in. Yeah, yeah. You, what's wrong? You, you're not yourself today. You're not going as hard. Okay, so we're saying the strip. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Yo, Mike, he's like, I'll show you hard. <laughs> <laughs> Bend like, what's over. Wrong? What's wrong? Oh, me and my man just having an argument. No. What's going on? Oh, you need me to walk. Oh, to he's your a car. dog. Oh, the walk to the car is always it. You like, no, mate, I, I take you out. You want some coffee or or, or a drink? Man, I need something harder than that. Let's get some wine. Oh, here oh. we go. Oh, something harder. You, What's up with you and hard today? What are you talking about hard? You said hard like ten times in your whole speech. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> hard to me the fucking drug, Cocalinas. Cocalinas. Okay, but anyway, um. We didn't answer you at all, did we? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't have a question. Well, I mean, like, I do have this one dilemma. I mean, like, I, I got this one job, and, like, I could get a pension in, like, 30 years. I'm not trying to put in those 30 years. And I have this that's other wild. job that's, <laughs> work, that's in the works and shit, and I could get, like, up to, like, $20 an hour, like, early. Like, off rip. So, like, I don't know what to do. So, you, what's the... So, you your have, girl pussy. Stop it. All right. Do you have a future with the other company? 
I mean, like, I work at UPS, so I mean, like, the only future I got there is basically fucking driving the truck, Damn. delivering packages. So there's no way to there. move up there, right? That's like, so why don't you do one on the side? Why don't you do that shit on the side and do <laughs> the job? What? I don't know. So your girl puts already, you on the side I, and work at UPS. I already got two jobs. I already got two jobs. So, so I'll be you, like, I don't know, I need something. I think whatever one is the better opportunity that you feel comfortable at. Don't do nothing. Don't don't tie yourself into nothing for thirty years that you feel like yeah, that's dumb. You gonna but then you can always quit. And you're young. Like I, you're probably gonna work like ten more different jobs. You're like oh, I need that pension. You still you at year six. You like I need that pension. Thirty years. I'm here. I'm coming. You got <laughs> fuck out of here, and buddy. The day you're gonna be dead. <laughs> the day that you get that shit. Yeah, they so. gonna make sure they stress you out at year twenty nine. Yeah. By year 29 for sure. Hell yeah. You're going to fucking have gray hairs and you're going to finally go on that vacation you always wanted to go. Deaf. Okay. <laughs> Cats get ready. That <laughs> That's not funny at all. That's not what these motherfuckers do. They be chasing this shit and then they fucking, oh, your knees hurt and you really can't fucking play volleyball like you wanted to. Okay. All right. All right. We're good. Thank, thank you so much for sticking yeah, with man. us. What the fuck? Uh, uh, thank y'all, y'all appreciate y'all. Y'all make my commute to work a lot, you know, better. And I appreciate y'all. Yeah, Yo, blessings, uh, we appreciate you for your support. Bro. Thank you. Course, Yo, bro, say your girl pussy. Bet I got you. Don't My do brother. that. Ever. <laughs> Peace. Not at- and somebody says, man, I'm trying to call, but the phone's saying it's offline. What's going on, Wax L'Oreal? Looks like T. Diddy is on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> now that's fucking hilarious and that was Bully and the Beast podcast yes you know we're out of here man thank god I'm turd I'm motherfucking tired I'm turd I am motherfucking tired alright so um, thank y'all for y'all support make sure y'all rate review subscribe um, listen to past episodes again Cause yeah. sometimes I do that, and I'm like, yo, these motherfuckers is really dumb. Yo, you know, what, you know what's crazy? <laughs> I never ever listen, but you know, I start binging. Is that the right word? I, I can't believe it. You finally got something yeah, right. Yeah, I heard somebody say that the uh, the du- 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 Duvernay lady. Oh god, here you go. Now you're fucking it up name? already. Ale- Ale- Alex Duvernay, whatever her name is. Oh, same thing. I heard her say that word before. Ava Duvernay. Yeah, I heard her say that Alex. Word the other day. And um. I binged it and I was like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Like when I play the piano, I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And the other day I went to my boy house and he was like playing some of my shit. And I was like, this person's good. And it was like, that's you. And I was like, oh shit. So when I was listening to the shit that we doing, we actually kind of good. Nah, the shit is good, right? I'm not going to lie to you. The shit is actually I was just about good. to say, we was wrapping up the show, nigga, wrap up your story. But then you was complimenting us. So I'll just let you go. Cause we would, you waited to us to wrap up the fucking show for you to tell this long ass story. It wasn't long. I was coming right in, but you know I swooped. It was in. long, right? It was like at least five minutes. No, come on. I, it listen. was like church. You know, church. Yeah. I'm like, all right, we all gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> but, I can't stand that. Deacon. But before we leave, <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna deacon sit. He, <laughs> he been over there like this the whole time. <laughs> before we leave, turn to uh, turn to Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Deacon, Deacon, Deacon James is over here. <laughs> he got something to say to the congregation. I'm like, oh, Deacon James. Bow our heads. On him. Yeah. <laughs> and that ain't nothing but his wife is cheating on him. We all know that she been fucking <laughs> He's with, not gonna with, stop. With, 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 Deacon, <laughs> with Deacon George over there. This nigga don't want to go home. All right, all right, all right. Let's, <laughs> let's pay the offering. I know, I know how to get him out of here. <laughs> all right, the, pla- the plates is coming around. Yes. I bet you everybody get the fuck out of here now. All right. <laughs> You gotta give what you can, not what you you give what you have or what you can. All right, so we out of here. <laughs> Peace. We out. Bye. Oh, wait. Um, did I say make sure y'all rate, review, subscribe? I thought you did say that, but she well, just do the announcements. Go ahead. Announcements, announcements, and anou- okay, Go ahead, yeah. Make sure y'all rate, review, subscribe. And um thank y'all for listening. Bully and the Beast Podcast. Sister Mary Clarence. Bye. Peace.